thought it was going to be one of those good news, bad news jokes or something for a minute. Well, I got that the other day when I phoned the doctor. The doctor phoned my house and he said, uh, I've got uh, good news and bad news. He said, well, give me the good news, I said. Give me the good news. He said, uh, you've only got uh, two days to live. I said, Jesus Christ. Two days to live? I said, what's the bad news? He said, I should have called you yesterday. <laughs> I just thought of that one. <laughs> Gary likes that one. How you doing, Gary? I'd like to introduce you, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, to my uh, songwriting partner over all the way from uh, Blackpool in the north of England. Give him a round of applause, Mr. Gary Mellor. Give him a round of applause. Uh, back in the old days, we wrote some songs together, didn't we, pal? Yeah. You know, like Lennon and McCartney, Rogers and Hammerstein, you know, Bernie Taupin and Elton John, you know, well, it was me. Yeah, me and Gary. We wrote some great songs. Yes, we did. The first song we actually wrote together was a, a song about his uh, ex-wife. Was it your first wife? And my second wife, yeah, it was the same person, yeah. No, she was a friendly girl, you know, she lived in the neighborhood. She was, actually, sometimes she was a bit too friendly. She walked about with a mattress strapped on her back in case she bumped into anybody she knew. You know, a bit friendly. She was a lovely girl. We wrote this song about her, it was entitled uh, Get Off The Table Mabel, The Two Dollars Was For The Beer. <laughs> Look. Hang on. Hang on. I'm here all week, try the veal. Hang on. And we wrote a country and western song when we both moved over to uh, the good old US of A. We wrote a country and western song, it was called uh, uh, Get Off The Gas Stove Grandma, You're Too Old To Ride The Range. That was a good one. All right, okay, okay. My, where are these coming from? Who sent me that? Stop it now, I've got three. Uh, so, somebody phone one of designated drunkards, drivers, whoever they, somebody phone them up now, I'm gonna need them. Mom, I'll tell you something now, we're going golfing tomorrow, mother can't even drive a golf cart. Now I'm in trouble, she'll give me a crack. Don't talk about me. No, mom doesn't drive. No. I've got, I've got to drink this now because I've got extra beer. By the way, I should have mentioned the most famous hit we had. You've probably heard this one. It was a really, really big hit. It was an English song. We had a really big hit with it. It was called Don't Shut Me Out of Your Life, Richard, or Don't Slam the Door on Me Dick. That was a good one. Yeah. We sold a lot of copies of that one. We sold... Uh, yeah, I think six. Six. Well, your mother bought five of them, though. So that means... Right. <laughs> Raise your glass. I know, it's hard work. I've got to have a drink now. Slancher. Royalties? Ten percent of bugger all is not very much, Gary. Ten percent of bugger all. No, but I was talking a lot, so it almost... Are you ready for another toast? Ooh, it might be late enough for a dirty toast, is it? Yeah. Dirty toast. Shall I tell you an Irish, an Irish limerick? That's where they all come from. Raise your glasses. <laughs> there was a young man from Kildare making love to his wife on the stair. He was on the last stroke when the banister broke, so he finished her off in midair. <laughs> Semi dirty. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, at this stage of the proceedings, I would give my right arm to be ambidextrous. <laughs> don't explain him if you don't get it. Thank you. Somebody got that one. Thank you. Where was I up to? I was going to. Oh! I'm going to do the Diddly Didum song. Yes, because the chorus is a bit tricky on this one, before I get too many more Guinness down me. Very important that you join in on the Diddly Didum song, and then we've got two rowdy, silly, drunken ones coming up. Yes, the Diddly Didum song, you'll recognise it. It's another one of those songs about the making of the moonshine over there in Ireland. Pochin, they call it in Ireland. This is a song, the actual title of the song is The Rare Old Mountain Dew. It's about making of the good old moonshine. Very important, I expect you to sing the chorus. I call it the diddly diddum song for obvious reasons, it goes like this. 
Let the grasses grow and the waters flow in a free and easy way. I give me enough of the rare old stuff that's brewed me at Galway Bay. Hot appeal is all from Danny Gall, from Galway to Andrew and you. We give them the slip and we'll take a sip of the rare old mountain dew. Everybody, a diddly idle dum, a diddly 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 diddly